The 2019 season marked the end of many legendary careers in Oxford. The 2-0 to Kessinger, and he lifts it high and fairly deep to left. It is carrying, and it is gone. Here's the pitch. Swing on! See you, baby! Three-run home run over the right field wall. Three rows in. In the early part of the season, the new group of Rebel leaders have emerged, proving there will be no fall-off. Swung on, high fly ball to right field. It's got enough. It's at the wall. It is gone. Two-run homer for Savinio. And the Rebels are right back in it. Showers in right. Jofi ready. And the runner goes. The payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Throw to second. He's gone. And the Rebels win. Jet black, large jet black coffee, <laughs> right there. That's how I like it. Uh, people give me flack for it, but you know what? They're just not a man. They're not blue, blue collar enough, you know? Not from Iowa. No, exactly. They're not corn fed, you know? It's not corn fed individuals. Like this guy. No, that's eye wash. <laughs> Look at the whipped cream. Good morning, I said, I said in the morning. I said morning milkshake. You don't need it. You need coffee. Should I get their wake you up? Milkshake. It's the coffee. There's no caffeine in those things. I don't know what the, I don't know why they get that. And Miller will say the exact same thing. What I've been told that is indeed a middle seat. And I don't know if that's gonna work out, but Daniel drew an aisle row or an aisle seat, so I think him and I are gonna switch when we get on that. 23C, so you know. We got the window seat. I think that's the window seat. Is that the window seat? Yeah, so we're gonna be looking at the clouds, you know? Gonna fly with the birdies. Gonna say what up to my, to my boy the dodo bird. He's extinct, but I'm still say what up to him. Push his shirt wasn't so tight. I know. Did you make that? It's only cause it's only because it's your birthday. The ball. If you go up north. Like, where I'm from, you don't hear country music at all in three games. Look at this, ready? Look at those hands. Play shortstop and take Ant's position. Oh. I have conversations with myself at first base during the games. I mean, I try to talk to Peyton, but he's so spaced out. And he always gets mad at me, because if he gets out his first at bat, I'll wait, let him put his helmet and stuff in the rack. No, you liar. I still have never been bullied by someone smaller than me. Hey, it's 8.35 already? Yeah. My mom always told me I was not eat dinner past 8 o'clock. <laughs> oh, I'm there. Look at that speed. Speed demon out here. Oh, that was a far run. You like my state? I do. I've been here before, dude. I told you. Oh, that ball's a monster. Back in his home state, junior Tyler Keenan didn't wait long to enjoy some home cooking. He got off the plane and we're, uh, we're going to the field. He's like, yeah, I mean, the air even smells good here. I think it can either relax you or it can put more pressure on yourself. I mean, just whatever way you want to take it. But you know you're going to have people in those stands that are going to support you. Not just your brothers in your dugout, but your actual family up in the stands. So to me, it kind of relaxed me. It kind of helped me. So I was ready to play. Here's Tyler Keenan, the oldest third baseman, hitting 258 with a home run and eight runs batted in. He's from Clayton, North Carolina. Got a bunch of family and friends here. As he gets to return to his home state. 21 years old yesterday. There goes the runner. Here's the pitch. Swung on. High fly ball. Right field. Doesn't have enough. We're going toward the wall, and it is gone. Two-run shot for Tyler Keenan. Welcome home to North Carolina. The sky is blue, and that one went sailing way over the right field wall. And the Rebels take a two to nothing lead. I remember Peyton, uh, we were walking out to home to boom TK, and he's, he was telling me, oh, TK said he was going to hit a home run on the first at bat, and he did. And I was like, man, that's even cooler. He called that, you know, big bat. He said, you know, if I hit a home run my first at bat, I'll be very happy. And he did it. Yeah. Woo! Oh, oh, let's go! Let's go! Oh. You know you called that? Huh? You know you called that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> That boy. Being able to watch that ball get out of the park, um, it was a spark, you know, for, for him, I think, and for us to set the tone for the weekend. And um, no better place to do it back in your hometown, right? 
Ground ball rolled toward the shortstop Servidio. This could do it. It's a shot made at first, and that is a double play as he held the bag, and the game is over. The Rebels win the first one here by a final score of 6-2. to two. I'm glad uh, y'all can make it to the farm. I know this was important to me and my family because uh, Coach Clem, Coach Bianca, Coach Lab, Coach Mac, everybody, uh, Chris, Chris, Boone, all of you guys, uh, y'all treated me so well at Ole Miss, so this is the least we could do for you guys. This is my first big roast experience. Uh, it smells delicious, though. I know Opie, Opie means a lot to this organization, all that he did for the four years. So, you know, it, it's a lot. It means a lot for him to do this for us and host us like this. Once you're in the family, you're always a part of it. So, that's why we're here, and we're we're super happy that uh, Opie let us come, his family let us come. Super thankful. Um, we miss him. We miss him. Uh, he was a great manager, great guy. Uh, so we're glad to be here. Would you like some of this? No, I. I'm good. Thank you. This is a home cooked country meal. See, back home you don't get things like this. This is cake. But I thought it was corn. Got uh, me a hot dog, some potatoes, green beans, and of course. This gonna get after. Man, that is a pig foot. <laughs> they are delicious. Pickled, barbecued, don't matter. You get a pig's foot, it's gonna be good. I'm excited. Can Chofi out eat you? Is that what? Uh, I guess. <laughs> that looks like unhealthy right there. <laughs> like four plates over here. Is that all Chofi? <laughs> no, match. No, match. Yeah. It's not all me. Buddy. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I need you to zoom in on that. <laughs> I need this on the season, so I have this against him forever. <laughs> hey, what? He's a growing bully. He just eats more than the average horse. <laughs> <laughs> it was good food. It was great food. Uh, this is my first season on The Bachelor. I don't know who I want to pick. Took Ashley back from my hometown visit here to uh, Greenville, North Carolina. We'll have to see how the state goes. <laughs> Jovi, how are you feeling? You gotta move around, but it looks like moving around is struggling. I have a little indigestion. <laughs> running, ar <laughs> uh, running around has helped me burn it off. It's not good for his roommate. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it's not good for my roommate. Oh, no. <laughs> Go! Oh! Oh! It Give it to him! Back. No! Oh, he dropped it! That's how we do it, baby! Go Rams! <laughs> Uh, Opie, how cool is it to be uh, have all the team back at your house today? Uh, it's really an honor for us. Uh, they took care of me in ways that are unthinkable, so this is the least we can do for, for them, like I was telling them. Uh, it's just, it's more a pleasure for us than it is a pleasure for them. All right, swing day, we talked about it. Different because it's a tournament, and so I won't get too much into it, but it's kind of cool because we won and they lost, right? And so it's a chance really, like we're playing like a three-game series, it's a chance for us to win the series. But the reason I say all of that is at the end of the day, this is why we're here, to play this team in their ballpark. We're here to play a top 20 team on the road in front of a really good crowd, right? Here's the cool thing. We've answered a lot of the challenges to this point. This is the next challenge. How will you react here, right? How will you play today? Let's be tougher than them today. Let's be grittier than them. Let's go get them. Live from Clark LeClaire Stadium in Greenville, North Carolina, the 2020 Keith LeClaire Classic continues in a ranked matchup as the 17th ranked Pirates host the 13th ranked Ole Miss Rebels. The one-two pitch, reaches out for it, rolls it to third, and it beats up Tyler Keenan, but he collects it, gets it over to first, just in time. They're going to want to take a look. Jeff Palumbo at first base already says, put the headphones up. Bake! Bake! What you got? Out. Under review here, and now they've overturned it, and safe is the call. 
Letter high set from the stretch, and now Agnos drops a bunt down slowly in front of the plate. Picked up by the catcher Dunhurst. The throw is off the glove of Chatsenye, who was covering it. And the Pirates are cooking with gas here, thanks to two defensive missteps right away from the Rebels. We make the two errors. It could have been a big inning for them, but Gunner was so good uh, in the bottom of the first. Gets us out with only one on our run. The great thing that you've seen out of Gunner this year uh, is he is that second-year guy. He has dealt with that before, uh, and he was able to put that you know quickly behind him. Count is one and two on Cadell. Hoagland comes set, fires. Swing and a miss. Chased a fastball, and the inning comes to an end. Curveball inside and the leadoff walk. Kevin Graham there, that was a big walk by him because without base runners, it's hard to score runs. Here's the right fielder, Tim Elko. Big dude, as they say in the industry, SEC side. Smith kicks and fires. Fastball ripped to the gap in right center field. This is down. This will get all the way to the wall. This might tie the game as Graham is already around third. Here comes the relay throw to the plate. It's late. And just like that, we're all tied up at one. Hey, he's going to move them over. All right. Be aggressive. They're going to want to go after you, not face Ant, right, with a guy at third base and one out. So be aggressive. Put something in the outfield. If they're back, just hit a ground ball somewhere. All right. Come on. Jerry Neely, freshman running back and an All-American for Ole Miss. And the pitch. Fastball driven in the air to center field. Whirl on the run, makes the grab. Elko tags. Here comes the throw from Whirl. It's cut off. And we are through one and one half in Greenville. Our score, Ole Miss 2, East Carolina 1. Gunnar Hoagland is a bit of a rarity. He was drafted out of high school. That is not rare, but he was selected in the first round and opted not to sign. So here he is at Ole Miss. That uh, bulldog mentality that he has on the mound, and it's it's scary as a hitter. Now here's Francisco. He's got runners at second and third, one away, and now Mike Bianco is going to intentionally walk him. And now what do you do here? But the base is loaded. You know, we had that 8-9 guy on deck, so Coach B put him on. I was just, you know, trying to get a double play ball. Put a guy on base, Pirates can have a big inning. The next hitter coming up obviously was more favorable for us and had all the confidence in the world that Gunner was going to fill it up, and he was going to fill it up with really good stuff. Kick in the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Chase one off the plate and low. And now there are two away. Pirates got to find a way to score in this frame. Giles bouncing ball hit down the third base line. That's fair, and Keenan steps on the bag, and the Pirates waste a golden opportunity here in the fourth. Move around. That's it. Awesome, man. Proud of you. Nice job, man. Thank you. 2-1 Ole Miss in the stretch brings our first call to the bullpen for the Rebels. The righty Max Chofi is on. As you know, Max, he brings a lot of life, a lot of energy, a lot of confidence. I wouldn't want to hit against him because, I mean, that guy, when he's out there, he, he's ready to kill somebody. Three balls, two strikes. Chofi comes ready and fires. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And the Pirates again leave a runner on. They have been shut down here tonight. And we go to the ninth. 2-1 Ole Miss. Buckle in, folks. Bottom half of the ninth. Pirates down a run. Two to one, our score. Ole Miss in front. Here he is. Braden Forsythe looking for save number three on the season. 3 1 to Francisco. Outside and high, and the leadoff man on here in the ninth. Try and give a bunt defense, all right? We need you to get in the game here, all right? If it's bunted hard to you and you got it dead out at second, take it, that's fine. But we want to get it out and you'll get off the field if you just get it out here, all right? You, you know, I don't think they'll slash, but same thing as we've been doing. Remember, you got to hold the runner because yeah, yeah, he's probably yeah. a pretty good runner there. If he steals, he'll throw his ass out, all right? Yeah, Pass ball away. No test on bunt defense, too, all right? Pass ball away. Good old-fashioned pitcher's duel here. Fires home. Ground ball hits off into short. Servideo flips the second one. The relay gets by and into the Ole Miss dugout. Wow. Game could have been over. You know, it's baseball. You never know what's going to be next. You just restart your, you know, mental, like, you're going to go after the next guy. You know, hey, it sucks, but next guy's not getting on. As they say, that the last three outs sometimes are the most difficult, and you need a guy in there that has that presence that wants to be there, and he's one of those guys. Foresight. Comes ready and delivers. Bouncing ball right side. Baker has it. Flips to first. Yeah! Ball game over. Give me a hug. Yes, sir. Hey, we got your back, dog. We got your back. Hell yeah. Come here. I got to ask you something. How fast is your heart beating? 
We got your bag, dog. We got you. We got your bag, boy. <laughs> yes. Let's finish so we get them our boys. Rubs on one, three, two, one. In 2017, Tyler Keenan arrived like most newcomers, looking to make a name for himself. Just starting the season, like going out for the first game would be most exciting for me. Looking up, seeing all the fans and uh, playing at Swayze for the first time. Keenan's a young man. They're very excited about DK. Obviously, left-handed hitter. We're sitting here looking at him. A lot of pop. Solid defensively, but I think offensively, they, they feel really good about him. Swung on, shot to right field. That's trouble, and it's going to one-hop the wall. Both runs will score, and Keenan heads into second base with a double. Ball gets away, but he'll stay around the second base bay. Jumped on a 1-0 pitch, and Tyler Keenan, welcome to Division One. He came to campus with that confidence, um, and it's really played well for him. You have to have that to be a good baseball player, particularly in this league. Um, and he's got that. He's got the confidence to know that he can have success against anybody. Not even the 2018 number one pick Casey Mize could stifle the then freshman's confidence. Twice in the stretch delivers. Swung on, lined into right field, pretty well stroked. Diving for it, past the right fielder Williams. Dillard will score, Keenan will hold it first as Williams able to reach right behind him and pick it up and throw it in. And Tyler Keenan gets an RBI single and the Rebels lead one and a two balls and no strikes. Same count that he got the single off of him in the second inning. Yeah, they went right at him with the fastball out over the plate. Tyler, obviously a very good swing. Base hit to right field. I will be surprised if he gets another fastball right here. That's good! Get up, get up, get up! Yeah! What a night for Tyler Keenan. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Let's go! It didn't take long for the nation to take note of the third baseman's home run prowess either. I texted Clem that I was in it, and he said he was recruiting, so he couldn't throw. So obviously, my next option was going to be my dad. My phone went off. I'd gotten a text, and that was Tyler sending me a text to call him. And at the same time, my phone rang, and it was an Omaha number. We have some friends that live in Omaha, so when I answered the phone, I, it was actually somebody from Ole Miss that said, hey, congratulations. I was like, for what? And they said, oh, you're throwing in the college home run derby. And I was like, you are kidding. Texting him, asking if he could throw was kind of a big deal to me and also a big deal to him. I mean, we've been, I guess, training for this our entire lives. Let's have fun. I love you. Love you too. Being a dad, you know, throwing to someone as talented as Tyler, uh, in front of 25,000 people on national television and watching him perform the way he did um, had to be, a, you know, I would think one of the top five moments, uh, you know, as a dad, that, that would have to be unbelievable. So Keenan now into double digits, following up with maybe his longest one of the night so far. It's all the way back to the concourse. Hey now. And a quick one to follow towards the scoreboard. What a finish. Keenan's last two absolutely launched. It was incredible. I had I had chills just running up and down my spine just to sit there and think that, you know, he started out at four years old swinging the bat, and here he is on the biggest stage in a home run derby on national TV in front of 25,000 people, and, and just performing was just just unbelievable experience. Hey, love you, buddy. One of those, you know, dream come true type of deals to, you know, not only are you sharing that moment with your son, but you're sharing it in front of, you know, millions of people. So really cool. And it's all you, buddy, right here. Tony. Hey, buddy. Run out of gas. Yeah. How's that? Oh, good job. Good job. It's pretty special. I mean, he's done BP with me my entire life. And, you know, it was just fun to come out here and have fun with him. I mean, he hasn't done BP in two years, so hats off to him. It was pretty impressive. So just glad I got to come here. The Rebels arrived with the Sun for the tournament finale. Even an early alarm clock wouldn't hinder Energy Sunday. Another day on the old baseball field. That is solely just for the mic. I know. <laughs> no, isn't it? I think about that every time. 
Every time I step on the field. Huh? Every time I step on the field, which is every single day. Swung on, lifted left center gap on the run to center field or left field. And either will get there, gets past him. Then they kind of fight for the ball. The left fielder ends up with it. Uh, Dunham and turns and fires it in. That drops in the gap for a leadoff double for Anthony Servideo. Full count pitch. Swung on, fly ball to right. It's got a chance down the line. Does it stay fair? It is gone. Two-run homer for Tyler Keenan, and the Rebels go up two zip. Up and in, and that almost hit him. I think it hit the umpire. And rounding third is the video after going to third base. He'll score, and the umpire really shake it up. With Servideo bringing the juice to Energy Sunday Brunch, his teammates supplied the pop at the dish. Swung on, fly ball right field, well stroke. Jesse at the wall, kiss it goodbye. There's another one. Wow. That was an absolute bomb. That was a new. Runner goes, and there's a bomb to right center field. Get up! Round ball toward the second baseman. Shot Nay gives the Servideo now to first base, and this one is over. Finally, I can make it, Dan. I can make it throw. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Peyton just turned a double play. Came to the home state, and I was fired up on the way here, and this just makes it that much better. I guess so, dude. The Reds are having fun. Are you having fun? I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Fries High Schoolers, Anthony Servideo. Is it winter or spring right now? It's, it's winter. Seasonally, it's winter. Just, just about everybody said uh, spring. I got it, I got it, I got it. Ah, I told you, I got it. Swinter. Swinter. It's the first time I've gotten that one. I just made it up. Yeah. I just learned that Keenan does not eat meat. I think that's maybe four people so far. I haven't gotten that. Everybody else has spring. So I just want you to know you're top 10% of IQ level on this team so far. Open up my eager eyes. Mr. Brightside. Well, there you have it. Um, as you can tell, luckily our team is really good at baseball. Because that's about all we can do.